for people who have overcome something. Just looking at the two of them, you knew they overcame something. I just know I can count on him, just like for anything. He has his struggles, I have mine. Eight years before we met Leroy Sutton, his future was shaped on a set of train tracks while walking to school in Akron, Ohio. D'Artagnan had a challenge of his own, as I learned when I first interviewed him. How would you describe your ability to see? From where I'm sitting, I can just barely make out your facial features. I really admired how how they stayed on the straight path. They didn't make destructive choices. They weren't bitter. They had just been dealt a really lousy hand. D'Artagnan and Leroy had no idea or help how to move beyond the only world they'd ever known, inner city Cleveland. That's when Lisa stepped in and became the living difference. The TV story was over. In the next year, Lisa would leave her producing job altogether but in D'Artagnan and Leroy's life, she was just beginning. You can't go into environments like this and earn the trust of two boys like this who have needs like this and then just walk away. I'm not gonna be next on that list of people to break their trust. She cared enough to stay and help us out through something that was as critical as this. We just formed a bond, and she just really wanted to help, really wanted to see us succeed. We formed a special family through this process. I can't really imagine life without them. She is the largest support that I've ever had. Me and D'Artagnan were brothers. We're brothers. And she just created the family like she was the missing piece to the family. Has life ever taken so much of a toll on a child that the effects simply can't be reversed? What if you can't find a child's gift? What if the search is uncomfortable? Is there a point at which it's ever okay to give up? Or can love really conquer all? I asked all of these questions and more in 2009 when I met D'Artagnan Crockett and Leroy Sutton, then high school seniors in Cleveland, Ohio. And over the next five years, as the three of us grew closer, I learned some very surprising answers. And while D'Artagnan's and Leroy's stories are are certainly unique. They are sadly not uncommon. More and more students are showing up in classrooms seeking refuge from their own shelter. They're afraid of what's outside their front door and they're afraid of what's inside their front door. But we are all born with this knowledge that there's got to be something better, something to fight for. And so they were told education was their ticket and they went to school every day hoping it was true. What they found at Lincoln West High School in Cleveland, Ohio, was, was often just as disappointing as what they found at home. Sunken teachers, a different detached principal at the helm each year, books locked up after class, gangs in the streets, and arrests in the hallway as they passed through the metal detector each day. They needed constant support if they were gonna soar. And you all know this, because you're teachers, and you've dedicated your life to this. But I'm a TV producer, so I was learning this for the first time. <laughs> but I grew to understand that if they were going to have the confidence to move forward, they needed to trust that my love would be with them through the two steps forward and every step back. And there were plenty of steps back. <laughs> and so when things grew harder, my solution was to love harder, to love fiercer, to push, to pull. And as I did, I noticed that they would try harder. And in the rare instances that they didn't try harder, I would just drag them along until the taste of success grew sweet enough in their mouth that they began to crave it for themselves. Because I knew, I believed, that though being a Crockett or being a Sutton might look like a life sentence, 
It wasn't. It was simply a pattern. And a committed love could break that cycle. When you take a risky sort of love, you find that compassion emerges in these unexpected places, in unexpected times, between unexpected people. On paper, there is absolutely nothing about the three of us that go together. Nobody would have blamed us for walking away for each other, from each other if we had said, we just don't connect. <laughs> but we found a way to forge community within one another, and we found that our whole was far greater than the sum of our very different parts.